This is a cool perfume bottle. Oh, well. I've got one mission and one mission only. Find the old treasures and get them to new vintage lovers' homes. We here at Jolie Flips Vintage pick through every location we visit with a fine tooth comb. Be it thrift shops, garage or estate sales, vintage markets, or antique malls, if there are secondhand luxury pieces lurking around, we will surely find them. So pull up a seat, get cozy, and Jolie flip with us. Okay, so I actually ended up coming to the American Thrift Store in uh, West Palm Beach. I just can't get myself to go to the one in Lake Worth because... Honestly, the prices are crazy, and I had spoken to the manager, and he could care less about what I had to say. He just said, okay, well, all right, bye. And I was like, so you don't care? Look, I still have my mid-century modern uh, console in there by Drexel. <laughs> I got at Goodwill for $40. I don't know if anyone follows me on Instagram or um, on TikTok. I had mentioned that I scored $40. Here, I'll put a picture of it so you can see what it looks like. All right, so American Thrift in West Palm. This is a better one anyway. They have better quality stuff. Okay, I don't mean to sound like a Debbie Downer, but I'm not getting good, like, finds vibe, but I could be wrong. I like to look down here. This is, like, the secret stash area. Things in baggies. Um, the candle holders in there. They're pretty nice, but... Okay. The baggies sometimes have good finds, or he's probably a candle. Oh, these are uh, vintage candles, which you know I, I collect. They're vintage Santa candles. I'm not going to get those. It's a wall mounted mirror. Any loose sight? Any loose sight? Do not lose sight of loose sight. Oh my gosh. What if we come up with like a Lucite company, right? Store, and we call it Don't Lose Sight of Lucite. So let's see what they got. Special things. Um, Japan, salt and pepper shakers. Looking like chickens. Okay. Hmm, kind of worn. $3.99. I will bring it to the register and if they're all broken, because I will open them when I get there so they could see that I'm not pulling any funny stuff, um, then I'll purchase them if they're intact. But you want to check out this little stash here. Pelican. Halloween stuff. Ah, uh, Mini salt and pepper shaker. Lucite napkin rings. Hmm. Kind of neat. Hmm. I get them. Nah, they're not exciting enough. Made in England, these coasters. Pretty old. I want $19.99? No. Who is telling us to pay that? Look at these. Oh my. These are $199. What are they? They're brass pelicans with a little pewter dog? That's a brass pelican. And there's a bell in there. And there's a brass whale. <laughs> the pelican goes on top of here. Hmm. Interesting. You never know what you're gonna find. All right. All right, let's put all these things back. And then let's thrift to, through these, through this shelf. I don't want to jinx it, but I'm going to say it real quick. There's like hardly anyone here in the aisles. So, see? So let's take advantage of that. This is a section where I usually find glassy babies. <gasps> is that pottery? Oh my. Is that a pottery mirror? $7.99. 
it might be signed, but we can't see it because somebody put a little board on there. Handles intact. Like that for $7.99. So something I could put up on my website. Here's some more brass things. He's an ashtray. They're they're a little pricey, $7.99 this too but i mean I really like them and i think brass is coming back so i will pay up the eight dollars these are little dini lamps 12.99 look at this it's probably a shard box with cats on it but they want 7.99 for it no <laughs> not for that love this made in japan $3.99. Mm -hmm. um, this is a cool little basket. Something. Let's open that up. Some like weird vomit stains or something in there. We'll leave it. It's like Vera Bradley vomit vibes. Haute Couture. Okay. I don't see anything else here candles in them but they also look like pottery made in the philippines oh, they're not very attractive are they kind of an interesting candle holder 4.99 one i don't know if that said 4.99 oops 4.99 or 9.99 i picked up one of these brutalist style curvet sets you know what? I'm going to pick it up again. I like them. I mean, $4.99. I haven't even loaded mine yet in the shop, so I'm hoping that they will sell. Oh, it's this. Um, from the shop. Maybe it had a scene on it. Look at this. They have weird stuff today. What is that? That's plastic. It's just like extremely weird things. <laughs> oh, I kind of like these candle holders. Oh, they're bad. They're broken. Chippy chippa chipped. Those are broken. It picked one up of these the last time, but um, it fell out of my car and broke. So I don't want it. This is cool. Okay. What else can we see here? I used to find a bunch of Rinconadas here, but not lately. Pay $9.99 for that. It looks like marshmallow in there. Oh, this is cute with the bird. $3.99 though for that trivet. A little steep. Here's some Williamsburg pottery, I think. Yeah. For $2.99? No cracks? I did say I was going to start picking up Williamsburg again. I like that. You can put utensils in there. Not many, but... But you can. This is nice, but it's not marked or anything. It is Moriyagi. Hmm. $6.99. It's pretty. Right. It's a Nippon or something. Oh, no, maybe it's something, but it, nothing written. Okay, well, told you, not getting so lucky today, but you never know. You never know. Be hopeful. I have a lot of these, so. I'll pass on it. And they write directly on it at American Thrift. You know, it's like a thing they do. I've asked them to, to please consider not doing it. But they are still doing it. $14.99 for this huge, ugly, resin fat owl. <laughs> I like fat birds, but that one is too weird. There's a little chip here. 
believe that. That one's $7.99 for that, too. And this is actually flash colored. This is kind of cool. I don't know what it says there, but I like the two-tone candle holders. Two-tone wood. Who they want? Twelve dollars for it. And it's all shaky and stuff. I have sold this before. This is from Disney Parks, but it took a very long time to sell it. And look, it's missing some of the pewter ears, the pewter Mickey parts. So I have some of these. I have some of those already. that hotel. Can't say I've ever been there. Look at this tile. I'm not too excited about that piece. I want to see this. This is in a box. There's a bird. Someone made it. There's Jesus with Joseph and Mary. This just needs to be glued down a bit. It almost has like a Florentine feeling. I don't like it entirely. It's cool though. Somebody was very artistic. I had one of these shelves that I got for like $2. It just had a broken knob that I just have to glue on. But wow, geez, they want $19 for it. What is it with this vase? I see it everywhere. It's just not a desirable vase. Been in China. <laughs> Well, look at that um, ginger jar, Celadon, $20, oof, $20 for it. Somebody should definitely buy that. Let's put that up there. I'm not going to pay $20 for it. Oh, look at this. It's like a mini magazine rack. Oh, they wrote directly on the actual wood, though. $5.99. I'll probably get that out with some acetone. A nice box. I'm gonna pay five ninety nine though for it. Very lightweight. Very strange things today. This might be part of a Tumi. Hmm. I see some terracotta something down there. Let's see what that is all about. Oh gosh, Pennington. The reason why everything's stacked up is because they're not selling much because the their uh the cost of their items are outrageous it's kind of nice it's plastic otherwise they would be selling oh look what someone did to an amberina tea light holder oh it sparkles all over <laughs> no don't ruin it college you know i sold a set of harvard coasters in the 80s for over $200 one time. This is Butler County Community College. Okay. This is kind of nice. What are these? These painted? It might be, look at that. There's like a horse scene. Oh, these are kind of cool. Um... $4.99. I like those. Cool. Wonder what the other ones look like behind behind the first one. Probably really neat. I know I'm not really looking down here too much. Look at this angel. Guns N' Roses is like blaring. $7.99. Axl Rose is really at it. Oh, that's an interesting paperweight very weird oh i like it it's very weird what do they want for it <laughs> looks like someone tried to make a paperweight um I, it looks like it's some broken off of something all right we're not even gonna it doesn't even it doesn't sit right oh look at this 
Oh, that's cute for $1.99. It has that, that swung glass look and then it has that Westmoreland handle style, right? Maybe, I don't know, but it's cute. Let's get that for $1.99. See, we can find stuff. <laughs> Not bigger items, but we can find it. Oh, this is cool. This is metal. And blue glass. Five bucks. Mm, meow. I promise that shell video is coming soon, you guys. Forgive me. Adam and I were going to... Oh, this is nice. $2.99 and there's a little metal frog in there. Let's grab that. Um, Adam and I were, we were going to go to, um, Little Hickory State Park in Bonita Springs, which is where we love to go to get shells and do a video for you. And then my dad got the transplant. So, um, the member, the subscriber that asked us for that, rest assured, we have not forgotten your request. I kind of like these. The tea light candle holders. There's a seahorse, a starfish, and a sand dollar. Hmm. I like terracotta, but I don't know if the world does. This is a perfume bottle, and I have no idea why. Ooh, catastrophe. No idea why it's 99 cents. Maybe it's broken. It's not a perfume bottle. It's like a cruet or something. I like it, though. I like the shape. I think for 99 cents, it's cool. I don't just buy things because they're, like, cheap. But, I mean, if it's nice and cheap, yeah. Why not? Por que no? Oh, how cute. A hummingbird and a resin piece. Wow, what is this? Oh, that's... That's old. That's really been loved. Let's check it out. How many cigars have been put out on that thing? <laughs> this little brass sea, sea sailboat. Hmm. Most of the time when, when I can't actually speak, y'all, and I'm like kind of stuttering when I talk, it's because I'm really hot and our thrift stores, they're very, very hot inside. <laughs> they don't really put up the AC, so it kind of makes my brain go bleh, and uh, it's hard for me to concentrate. Um, this might be Myrtle Wood. I kind of like the whole wooden base thing, but it's kind of boring and plain, right? Much is it anyway. $3.99? Yeah, no. Maybe if it was 99 cents, so I'd have picked it up. What is this? Underneath the turkey. Turkey's a good pickup, too, if somebody likes that. Oh, this is resin. I think I saw the green man on it. Yeah. <laughs> Innovation oak leaf. Made in China. Whoops. $10. Let's look that up. Okay, well, apologies. I don't have any reception, so I cannot actually look it up. All right, we'll just wait till we can get past here. A plain, oh, cross, as you say, it says plain. It's plain, but it says love on it. That's cute. Is this a, one of those porcelain decoupage style things, but a frog for $6? That's a lot. It's probably how much that sells for or less. $20 for a black onyx broken cat. Okay, let's keep looking. Oh wow, this is like a, I don't know, earth? <laughs> Probably looking for that aha moment, like, oh my gosh, kind of like this, hopefully it's not broken. Oh, it's totally broken. But that would be good for my own collection, let's see. Glass art made in Taiwan. Mm. Uh, I don't want to rescue it. I'll check this out, I'm going to rescue this. So I just sold one to my friend Erin, who is, uh, loves to buy Disney stuff from me on whatnot, and it was my mom's, and I sold it to her, and look at this, it's almost as if my mother really wants me to have it. <laughs> it's the same exact one, uh, I will pick that up for $2.99. <laughs> I will pick it up. It's back when the Hollywood Studios in Disney was... Um, MGM Studios, for those of you who remember. This is a really pretty cast iron in the center, I guess, amethyst 
can. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. Just looking for unique pieces. Looking for unique pieces at the same time. Are there mushrooms on there? It's a mushroom thing. Oh. 1996 Kelsey Pilgrim. $20. Well, you can keep your mushrooms and all of that. So I would pick this up if it wasn't $12.99. Because anything I Love Lucy pretty much sells. But um, we'll see if that's like discounted. You know what, I can't even tell what the value of it is, but um, there are some chippings anyway. Some crazing on it too, so I don't know, but hopefully someone picks that up who really, really loves I Love Lucy. That is one of the things that never stops selling. I would highly suggest picking up I Love Lucy. Oh, there's an aura for, I'm, I never see them in this color. And it has a sticker on it. Aura for Sweden. $7.99. Let's find out if purple is on sale. I doubt it. There's a lot of purple items. If not, then we'll come back. And we'll put it back. Okay, I'm not seeing anything down here. That I want to pick up. I'm not seeing any. Oh, these are kind of nice. You know what? $1.99. Elements. I don't need them. But... They are nice. It's twelve ninety. Wow, that's heavy. Wow, that's heavy. What does that say? Hold on. Especially for Gumps, San Francisco. So scratched up. Can somebody tell me what Gumps means? <laughs> oh, that's a nice jar. I wonder if it's flash colored or if it's vintage. Oh, I like that. $6.99 though. Hmm. I don't like it enough. What about that back there? Let's feel the quality of this. No. Uh, I don't know about this one. This is a cute little blue um, base for $0.99. Cents. Wow, that glass is so thin. I'd be so afraid to ship that. No. This is probably newer. I, I like the style of this. Definitely. Um, probably missing a topper, but the style is cool and it's not marked or anything. Alright. Anything down here? Anything up here? This is a cool perfume bottle. Oh, well. Cool. Okay, well, I actually broke that, you guys. So the tape was off the top, but do you want me to pay for it? I could pay for it. No, no, no. Are you sure? Oh. Uh, um, might be a Le Creuset, yeah. But it's a Le Creuset that's $25. <laughs> so that is a major no. Oh, I feel awful. Actually, I think I would have bought that. That's one of the reasons I feel really awful about it. <laughs> This one. Rulo Buno. It's nice. Uh, maybe it's something. Rulo, R U L O, Buno. Oh, look at these. It's probably made in India, but. Oh, $29. Oh, man. No, I can't. I won't pay that much for those are cool though maybe they're worth a lot this is really cute we want $3.99 $3.99 for it it's kind of funny onions oh this is nice looks modern no no oh my gosh $39.99 for that what about this $6.99 and it's all broken okay I would like to know also um you guys, let me know in the comments, how are your prices at your thrift stores? Are you noticing, this is Department 56, are you noticing that your prices are going up in your area as well? And please put where you're from, if you don't mind telling everyone 
would like to know. I'm just curious because we do travel. We do travel for thrifting. <laughs> so this is nice pottery. Gosh, wrote right on it, but it is nice. Okay, we'll grab that. $3.99. Oh wow, look at this. Oh, too bad it's all cracked. Yeah, it's Italy. <gasps> it's all broken right there. Oh, that's so unfortunate. That is gorgeous. Look at that Italian texture. That might be Italian also. Let me try to get it. Wait, first let's look at this. This probably Israeli. Okay, this is what I was looking at in the back. Maybe not Italian. Oh, and it's, it's resin. Kind of looked like Italian pottery from the, you know, from afar. I just love these kind of glazes. Wow, these are cool. Cape Cod. Oh, and this is the, the bowls. That's awesome. If you're just trying to add some red color into your life. The Cape Cod stuff is great. It's just the reason we don't pick it up. It's not because resellers don't like it necessarily. Maybe there are resellers that don't like it, but I don't personally pick it up because they're ubiquitous and there's so many out there. They were really mass produced and uh, the resell value is just not, it's not worth it. You might as well keep it. Oh, look, this is nice. Oh, wow. This is really nice. $3.99 could be used as a bread basket. I just kind of like the look of that. That is cool. Let's not put it over there. Let me move the mirror. Put it underneath the mirror. This is also a cool mug by Russ. I don't know. How, Russ usually is not a big time seller for me, but it depends what um, it is. And these are just a bunch of old cars. That's cool. Um, I want to look at that tray below. This is by Bayer's. I know I've picked that up a million and one times. This is what I was looking at, you guys. $14.99. Arthur Armor. I don't know that brand. But it's all really worn. Well, this kind of is like those hammered metal type brands where they might sell, they might not. Like a Rodney Kett or a Farber Wear, if I'm saying that right. Anyway, I'm not going to pick that up. Um, the pumps are all over the place with that. Okay. Oh, I saw this. I don't know what you guys think about this. This is made in Italy. But look at the swirl inside, you know, that's unattractive. You know, they've used that and this, there's a creamer in, oh, there's a chip there. So there's a creamer in the sugar bowl. That's cool, but let's not. Okay. There's no way that's 99 cents. 17.99. That's more their style. I don't think silent butlers sell very well for me, so I'm going to leave that. But some people would say, why don't you pick that up? You know, because they're at the antique malls all the time. Uh, this is, oh gosh. Guys, I can never pronounce this word because I'm really bad. Cedar? 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 Cedar plate? <laughs> Someone is going to write in the chat. Someone is going to write below. <laughs> They're going to spell it out for me how to say it, I'm sure. <laughs> I do love these. You now, if you want your dough to look like snowflakes. I like the wood over here, so let's check that out real quick. Okay, down here. Ooh, actually nothing. Nothing today. There. Jesus is looking pretty suave here, I must say. Very suave. Okay. Um, I kind of glanced at the blankets, but I didn't really see anything that I really wanted there. I'm going to go back here real quick and see if I find anything. I want to come in the back here uh, when you visit because there's baskets. Some of the baskets are really neat. Kind of like this one. This is a waste basket. Oh, gross. Who knows what's been in there? You want to glance at the lamps because sometimes there's some MCM ones that are really worth the pickup. But I think they've caught on with those because they're very expensive now. I'm going to go check out the books real quick. This is just a cool thing. It's like an M4 style rattan basket um, for $7.99. I like it, but it is modern. Let's go down here. 
see if there's any books. Adam is looking for, he would like to thrift a Grey's Anatomy book. Not the show, but like the real one. And I have one somewhere. Just be cool to find like a vintage one for him. That's probably what I'll get him for his birthday. And now he knows. Like if I can find one, you know. There's a, uh, I don't know if you guys use Thrift Books. I think that's what it's called. It's an app. You can get used books on there. I know my father-in-law likes that. He likes that um, app. All right. Well, I'm not finding anything here, y'all. Let's head over to maybe one more thrift store. Okay, let's try. I'm going to go and check out now. Hey, you guys, I know that this is $5.99. It's really cool pottery. It's an owl. And I need it. And I know there's a little chip there. But I like it. I am like obsessed with pottery at this point in my life. And I'm seeing something else. Let me see if I can grab it. Sorry. That's okay. This is a little bud vase that's $2.99. Yeah, kind of leave it. It's kind of boring. Sorry. Oh, I, by the way, I got this box. Kind of art deco. By a company. It's $5.99. But I saw that it sold for about $30 something dollars. And it says Organica. Funcionarte. And I have this. This is actually for me because um, I needed a bigger trivet when I put things on the table. We have a glass top over wood. Our um, dining table is a poker table because it's a small condo. So we thought, hey, we thrifted a poker table at Goodwill and we thought, hey, that's perfect for a small condo. But when I put stuff down, I need a bigger trivet. So I thought this was perfect and it's so cute. Um, if it doesn't work out, I'll just put it up for sale. It is $6.99, so I don't know how much I can get for that. This is kind of cute. It says, welcome to the shore. I think it's reverse painted. I don't think it's, yeah, it's made in China, but um, we do live, oh God, I'm gonna break something else. We do live beachside and I think that would be great for us for $3.99. Hopefully these strings are strong, but I like them. Let's grab that for ourselves. Some more decor for our home. Oh, this is nice. Look at that. $4.99. Hmm. Keeps night food nice and warm. And oh, there's another one here. Okay, this one's cute. Oh my gosh, there's a trapped mini mouse ornament in there. Help me! Oh gosh. It's, it's like really. Oh, I was like, this is like one of those refrigerator container textures and it's for a food processor. <laughs> this says Walmart shopping fund. <laughs> it should say thrift store fund. <laughs> this is nice. Okay, look at that relief style uh, project piece. That's not, it's not in good shape. <laughs> if you saw it. Um, what about this little platter here? Oh, made in Spain, 15 bucks. This is nice. 19 bucks. It's kind of a cool pie plate and it's signed. Oh, it's heart sewn. I don't know how well Hearthstone sells, but I mean, I have sold Hearthstone, but a long time ago. I'm gonna put it back. I know these are so crazy, Florida, but I mean, aren't they adorable? Look at this. <laughs> I think this is so cute. Tropical placemats. They were originally $5.99 at Kohl's. What should I want them here for? $2.99? Well, I mean, it'd be hard to wash. All the beads would come out. Holy oh, that. <laughs> but that was kind of cute. Okay, you guys, this is really cool. I took them out of the box. They look really clear. This looks yellow because the packaging got yellow over time. But they're Dillard's uh, trimmings. And some of these can really sell well. These are, um, they're like resin blue clear seashell 
ornaments for $4.99. So that's great. I think that I could probably get about $30, $40 for these. So we'll grab them. They're like brand new. These are longer burger two pack votive cups. Let's open them up. See what we got in here. Please don't fall out. Oh God. Hold on. Okay, so there's two of these. Ooh. Kind of weird inside. Let's look at the other one. This one's in pretty good condition. Hmm. If I just clean it, it should be fine. Are they cool? I'm gonna grab these. Important to note that one is green and one is blue. See, and it's a set of blue. So I'm actually gonna leave them. So I have the original packaging, but maybe people don't want, you know, two different colors. Maybe this was a bad idea, but I'm gonna leave them. Maybe people put stuff back because I didn't see any of this before. I'm not gonna pick up these brass um, cats anymore because um, honestly, it took forever for me to sell them. And they're always so expensive at the thrift store. And look at this, somebody took the price off and then underneath, they kind of took the first, they wiped off the first number. So anyway, but I did see this owl and he's spectacular. <laughs> he is $7.99, but I'm gonna grab him. And did you notice this? Is this glass? Oh, I thought it was 100% recycled glass. I thought it was pottery. It's not bad though. It's pretty, it's hand painted. And then I thought I saw something else. Maybe it was the frog. The sponge holder. Oh, look at this guy. Is that a bottle holder? It's <laughs> just creepy. Let's see. $7.99. <laughs> Liz and Ceramics. It's just one though. It's back here. I think I picked this up last time, but it was too much. Yeah. $24.99 for that Italian wall pocket. The longer it stays here, see it's uh, it's chipped. It wasn't chipped last time. These are kind of like um Imitation Fitz and Floyd tumbling cherubs. I don't think these are actual Fitz and Floyd. I have them. That's why I know they feel like cheap porcelain, but I could be wrong. DC? I don't know. What is this? Somebody made this. Jar? <laughs> I don't know. That is weird. I'm very stained. Cute little modern cat back here. Mm, probably. Yeah, Target, $3. They want 99 cents. That's cool. I don't need it. What is this? That, that's plate. Two of them. Hard to do with one hand. I think they're ships. Yeah, these like, they don't really sell for me, but they are really cool to decorate with. Yeah, they are really cool. Oh, I kind of need something like this. Oh, 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 wait, oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's, a, it's in a stand. It's on a pedestal. I just need it. <laughs> just the top part. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, yes. See, this is why you gotta come back around. These always sell. I'm gonna pick those up. Uh, $2.99 for the set of four. What's that in there? Is that a, yeah, it's a wine opener. Hmm, I guess those can sell. <laughs> Jehovah es mi pastor. Honduras, cool. Oh, look at this block. Oh, it's a tile. Uh oh, it's a Dickens? Let's see. <laughs> People may forget what you said and forgot what you did. They will always remember how you made them feel. Oh, that's a good one for nurses. Houston Lou. Kind of like this tile. It says thanks. Oh, you know what? It says glass on copper, which is actually really cool. And I thought it was like cracked, but I think it's supposed to intentionally look cracked because it's like that all over. Yeah, well, let's pick that up. That's just that's just a cool piece. Alright. What else before we leave out of here? Okay. Oh, this is um, where they put clearance items. I thought this was for sure 
going to be a head base, but it's not. I mean, I guess we could drill a hole in her head. <laughs> Too bad. All right, guys, I'm really taking off, so I'll see you in a minute. All right, y'all. So my feet are are hurting quite a bit. And uh, I know there's a good wall about three minutes away. And although it's not the best good wall, you just never know what you're going to find. That loud noise in the background, that's my air conditioning because it is really hot in here. And yes, I will put my seatbelt on right now. Okay, it's on. <laughs> Okay, so yes, three minutes away. Let's go to Goodwill. Oh, it's getting harder and harder to get out of cars, ladies and gentlemen. All right, there's the Goodwill of West Palm Beach. It's supposed to be a superstore, I think. I think they close at 8. It's like 5.30. Okay, let us grab that one cart that's hanging out there waiting for us. Um, I don't get too lucky here, but honestly, you just never know. I like these chairs. These are cool. $19.99 each. This one I was looking at. $5.99. <laughs> That's old school. Uh, sorry I haven't done jewelry jars for a long time, you guys. It's just that Goodwills don't really have jewelry jars anymore. This is what I was looking at. Is it hand painted? Oh, it definitely is. 2011 dollars It's kind of cute. But, um, it's alright. <laughs> There's a casket over here. A porcelain one hand painted with a large chip on the front some truffle candles some things over here storks for 99 cents and it's signed the Bronco it's broken okay Sometimes there are things on the shelves when you're walking towards the back. These are nice. There's four of them. That would, that would be really nice to have. $2.99 each if you're a martini drinker. I do not drink at all. These are kind of cool. There's two of them. Uh, 99 cents each. I, maybe, I'm assuming. These, Costa, these might be Costa Boda, but I'm now learning that there's other brands that make similar. Oh, these are all chipped on the bottom. These are cool. How much they want? $2.99. Prices are not that bad. This is nice. There's chips on it. Japan. Mm, it's like paint chips. Oh, is that a large crack around it? Oh yeah. Oh, too bad. That's yeah, really nice. I like how it looked like canary feathers okay and then this is not what i thought it was okay see what i mean they don't have much the shelves are pretty bare lots and lots of clear glass which i do like looking through these are interesting what does it say let's see stickers on them. I'm gonna have to peel one back. Well, they're Bormioli and sometimes Bormioli can sell. I have sold wine glasses, but I don't think those are highly valuable. Um, that's cool. Um, these were valuable at one point. They want $10 for it. Look at this. Sold at the grocery store for $19.99. Probably an Asian market at $99. They do sell these in the how cute that is. They do sell them at the stores. Cute little floppy ears, probably. You can adjust them. Yeah. He's cold painted. He's a mold. We want $2.99 for him. And what is going on? Oh, I don't, <laughs> I don't like the whole idea of fur, you know, even fake fur, it just freaks me out. This is a terracotta pumpkin. Yeah, these pumpkins are kind of nice. Oh, they're so lightweight. Here's a Southwestern style bell, 
$2.99. Know about that. That's really nice. $24.99 is not a big deal if that's your style. Victorian style is your thing. It's pretty old. Yeah. Firenze or Florence. Oof. Crazy dirty and crazed in there. Crazy crazing. Oh dear Spongebob, I feel like I'm the only one that still likes you. <laughs> it's funny, my mom used to like the laugh. We used to watch it together. You just laugh. He's like, ah. I can't even do it. It's so funny. Um, cute, but just one is not going to cut it. These are kind of cool. Espresso and cappuccino. Nothing to hang, hang it. Um, okay. Bananas, it says. It's cool. It's a cool tile for $2.99. Kind of like this. I think it's pewter. A good clean would get this looking real nice. Exclusively for FPD, made in India. It's really nice. I don't want to pay five though. I didn't see the colors. Something down here. Let's check this out. I think it's latchkey. I don't know. Oh, a cute little rug. Actually, want for that. It's uh, made in Belgium. I guess it's a rug. I, I need a rug. Maybe we'll grab that and we'll see if they'll price it for us. There's no price on there. Well, I've got about 9% left on my phone. <laughs> Um, oh, that's cool. Oh, that's a good chip. $4.99. This is probably Stangle. Only three pieces of Stangle. I sold Stangle. You can sell. Oh, she's pottery. Oh, how cute. Oh, again, no price. What is going on? Let's see if they'll price that. <laughs> Why is everything I like has no price? It's kind of cute. Cool. Is that plastic or real wood? Yeah, real wood. Uh, Intercraft. I like. I kind of just like the frame. Two ninety nine. Eh, I mean, I don't really need it, but it's kind of cool. This mug is cool. Bahamas, and it says Steve on it. Oh, it's so cute. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, it's measuring cups. Oh, it's chipped. Oh, man. I think I would have totally picked that up. That's so darn cute. <laughs> How much did they want for it? I'm just curious. $2.99. Oh, it's a Boston warehouse. Yeah, not a very uh, highly, you know, profitable company to sell, but they always have cute things always have cute things these are um mosaic hmm coasters five bucks though i don't pick these up ever they they actually creep me out i think they're are they paper and ceramic you know and they're always so expensive so well, these are three dollars not not bad but at the thrift stores usually the other thrift stores are usually pretty expensive i'm not sure why i actually hate them Okay, well, since we're about to die, our phone is about to die. I'm going to speed it up here. Okay, oh, I don't know how about these 3D imaging um, framed art pieces. I, I do have some, but I don't think that they sell very well. Um, and what about this? Ah, I'm not going to encourage smoking either. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. $2.99. More into like looking for like um you know oil paintings and things of that nature okay so i'm gonna pick this up for 99 cents it's american indian art i always pick up things like this and that's how i learn what is 
you know, what is up? That's how I learn. So I buy like things on antique glass all the time. Okay, well the gentleman, the gentleman that ch checked me out gave each item to me for, oh no, he gave me the rug for $2.99. I think it's more of like a tapestry though. And the little ceramic girl for a dollar. So my total there was like $4 and something with tax. Anyway, I'm gonna head home. You guys, I think I'm gonna go get a foot massage. I got the uh, thriftoritis on my foot. And uh, thank you guys so much for shopping with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe if you enjoy my videos. It really does help with the algorithm. And uh, like always, I really appreciate you all. We'll see you on the next video. Catch you on the flip side. Bye. I apologize, you guys. I think I made some of you probably pretty dizzy. I was very tired on this particular day. And as I'm editing, I'm noticing there's a lot of me moving around with the camera. So I'm sorry if I made you dizzy. I will do better. I hope you enjoyed this outing. And if there's anything that you saw me thrift that you would like to purchase, as always, just email me at jolieflips at AOL.com.